Hello, wonderful. It is Sarah, and I am coming to you today because I want to show you my sweatshirt. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm away from the mic. I am not for everyone. And true stories from a absolute people pleaser and a recovering people pleaser. And I had several conversations this week about people pleasing, including that people pleasing is a lie. People pleasing is a lie. And the lady, uh, it was a lady who was on the call about joining the Wondrous Woman program. And she said she wanted to recover from people pleasing. And I was like, oh yes, I was the world's worst people pleaser. And she said, yeah, and I realized that people pleasing was a lie. And I thought about it for a second and I was like, you know, I think you're exactly right. And the way I say it, or the way I have thought about it is, in my past, I was really good at giving advice that I didn't take. I would tell you to take care of yourself. I would tell you not to put up with those things. I would tell you, you deserve better. I would tell you, you deserve a day off. And then I wouldn't take my own advice. And I know many of you can probably identify with that. And I hope it's one of your least favorite things about yourself because it is dishonest. If I give you advice that I'm not willing to take, there's an inconsistency there. It's not believable. It's like, you know, someone's telling you, I can help you make a million dollars. And then you find out they're broke. It's a nutrition coach. Oh, I can help you lose all that weight. But, you know, they're eating three Snickers bars a day. And your kids can see it. Your coworkers can see it. You, we can see that in other people. When they say one thing and do another. That's something very, very, very few, if any, people admire. But it's something I used to do. And I thought I was being a good person. I thought I was being nice and kind. Oh, I don't need to take care of myself. I don't need to invest in myself. I don't need to take time for myself. I don't need to rest. I don't need to whatever, but you should. You deserve better. You should take care of yourself. And I finally had to say, you know what? That's pretty dishonest. It's dishonest to give advice that you don't take. And it's something in my own life I work really hard at. I'm sure I'm not perfect, but golly, I really try to make sure when I'm talking to women, talking to the wondrous women, talking to you on the podcast, talking to people on other podcasts, whatever venue it is, that I am taking my own advice. I'm honest with myself and honest with others. And that's why I have this sweatshirt on that says I'm not for everyone because when you are that way, Everyone isn't going to like it. It's in some ways easier to be a chameleon. Who do you need me to be today? 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 But there's nothing honest about it. If I'm honest and I'm true and I'm living in my integrity, some people are going to align with me and some people aren't. I'm in toxic relationship recovery, but I hope that I hope that I hope that I'm repelling people whose uh, new brand is victim, who resonates with this happened to me, it was terrible, and I'm just going to cling on to that and make it my new identity. Everyone I talk with has been a victim, but the people I love, the people I work with, the people I help grow don't want to stay a victim. They don't even want to stay being a victor or like being a survivor. They just want to be amazing. They want to be wondrous. They want to be wonderful. They want to have better careers and better lives and just this amazing life after a toxic person encounter. 
And that's why many of you know I'm against uh, studying narcissism for too long. It is a place to visit. It is a wonderful thing to read Lundy Bancroft, to read, you know, why does he do that? To read some of these articles and some of these things to say, oh my gosh, this is what was happening to me. That's wonderful. There's nothing wrong with going to therapy at some point and talking about what happened to you and processing through the toxic relationship. I just hope you don't do it for 20 years. If you, if someone did something bad to you five years ago and five years later, you're still studying it, you're still focused on it, your entire healing strategy is about the toxic person, they are still in control. It's important to process, but it's important to process through so eventually you progress. The point is the progressing. The point is the growth. The point is the raise, the new relationship, the joy, the new hobby, the new life design. If the toxic person is the point, then they are still the main event of your own life. You won't be the main event of your own life if your only life strategy is to study toxic people. I have never heard anyone say, gosh, I just... I used to be really sad, but then I started studying um, toxic relationships and emotional abuse and narcissism, and I'm just so happy now. Every day when I wake up and read another article on emotional abuse, it just brings such joy to my heart. Like, literally, no one says that. And I hope you're giggling right now, because it's ridiculous. And one of my life passions is matching people's healing strategies to their goals. If your goal is joy and happiness and to be well loved and to feel free and get out of the prison of your mind and to build a life for yourself and your strategy is finding everything you can know about your ex or a toxic parent, there's a huge disconnect to what strategy you're trying and where it's going to take you. If your goal is to be an expert on narcissism, here it is. Are they going to change? No. Are they doing it on purpose and do they know what they're doing? Yes. Is it ever going to get better? No. That's it. You're an expert on narcissism. Do we know why they're this way? Not really. Some blend of nature and nurture. Do they all do the same thing? Yes. It's like they're on a conveyor belt and, you know, they're all the same. It's amazing. Women get on the phone and they'll tell me a story and I was like, I've heard that story 15 times. Really? It's, it's tragic. It's terrible. But studying something that's terrible, it's like wanting to look at car wrecks all day and then wondering why you don't feel alive and full of joy and why your kids don't see you smile. If you want to have an amazing life, get a healing strategy that matches your life, which isn't what I even meant to talk about. I meant to talk about people pleasing. But I'm so passionate about it because I see such amazing women trying to heal, trying to get better, trying to do the same things and getting the same results. And my passion is for you to get past the past, get real about the present so you can get serious about the future. That's where the magic is. And I've actually had, I'm giggling, I had five women in the Wonder Woman program make raises in the last two weeks. Five. Five women come to me complaining about either a toxic parent or partner and then walk away five with raises. I mean, it's just shocking. And uh, I'll post it in the comments, the little comment, so you know it's true. Uh, but it's just amazing. And it's just, it feels so powerful because these women are creating safety for themselves. They're creating lives for their children. They're creating wealth. They're creating joy. They're connecting with hobbies. They're doing amazing things. And then I see other women who are spending four years researching narcissism. And they feel crappy because narcissism is crappy. Or they're still people pleasing. Or they're still thinking, who do you need me to be? Who do you need me to be? Who do you need me to be? There is hope for you. There is not hope in doing the same things 
over and over and getting different results. If you want your life to be different, you have to do something different. And it's not people pleasing. And sometimes you're going to say, I'm not for everyone. Just like my sweatshirt says, I'm not for everyone. And that's okay. And I'm comfortable with that now. And I hope you can be comfortable with it too, because that's where the real freedom is. I hope you have a great day. And I hope you get on your own journey to becoming toxic person proof.